some new tips for new kitten owners, um, people that buy kittens from me. Have plenty of cat scratching furniture in your house. Um, this post over here, this one right here, I made out of sisal rope, S-I-S-A-L, I believe it's called. I got that from Walmart back in the hardware section. Um, and then I just added some vine. You can get that in the craft section at Walmart. It's just for decoration. But the cats love that. Um, they scratch on it. And yeah, it took me a while to wrap all that. I used a carpet tube. Um, you can get that at, I don't know, you could go to probably value and see if they have any empty carpet tubes in the back. I forget. Oh, oh, I, I used that. That came with the linoleum I bought to go under the cage. So, yeah, instead of throwing that away, I wrapped it with sisal. And uh, there you go. Got a scra cat scratching post. Uh, what else? So, uh, if you don't have stuff like this around your house, they will use your furniture. They'll use your woodwork. My cats don't scratch my couch. They don't scratch my furniture. They don't scratch my woodwork. Uh, they were using my carpet here by the door. That's why there's a piece of wood there. Um, another tip, have more than one cat box. If you got two or more cats, I suggest having at least five cat boxes throughout your house. Um, and make sure every day that they are clean. If you just say to yourself, well, I'll get to it when I get to it. If those cat boxes are filthy, those cats are going to find another place to go. Also, if you're buying uh, a male cat from me, make sure he is neutered between five and six months. Any later than that, and he will start to spray. Once he starts to spray, chances are, if you neuter him after that, it's not going to matter. So, I don't know if any of you are planning on breeding, but this is why my males are kept in cages. Here's uh, Loki and Leo. They do come out, but they have to wear diapers when they're out, and I watch them, and then I put them back and take their diapers off. I don't leave them out for hours on end with diapers on. That would be terrible. No, I let them out to play, and they wear their diapers, and I can tell you just by watching them, when they, as soon as they come out, they try and pee on stuff. So if anybody's ever told you that, oh, I have a male intact cat, and he doesn't spray, um, they're nose blind their house probably smells like cat pee because all male intact cats spray. So, um, yeah. Anyway, five to six months, get them neutered. And females, get them fixed. Um, it's, you know, about the same age. You don't want any accidents. So, um, yeah, this is, this is pretty much all I wanted to say. You know, get your furniture, so your cat furniture, so it saves you from, you know, having yours torn up. And uh, put it near your couches and wherever you don't want your furniture clawed on. Now, if they start clawing on your furniture, you can use, I've tried this. This is for actually pet urine. I've sprayed this on the corners of my couch, and my cats left the couch alone. So um, you can use you can use this stuff, and it smells really good. It doesn't stain your furniture. What it does is it breaks down the enzymes that they cats have scent pads, scent glands in their in the paw pads. Oh God, I can't talk today. And. Uh, that's what they're doing as they're clawing, they're leaving their scent. So this um, breaks it down and um, then they don't go back there. So you can also try that. All right. I hope this helps. And there's little babies over there. Three of them are going home today. 
And uh, Muwaza, he's got a two-week wait. So, <laughs> poor Muwaza. All right. Have a good day.